Hey, this is NTK with DN Simple. Today I'm going to show you how to configure a DN Simple provider for Terraform. There are four arguments we can pass to configure our DN Simple provider. Two of them, token and account, are required. The other two, sandbox and prefetch, are optional. First, we're going to add the token, which is the API token that you can generate on your account page. If you don't have one, you can go to the account page, click on automation, and you will see that you have a section called API tokens. Here, we can create a new token, call it, for example, Terraform, and we will use this token to add it to our token configuration. The next one is the account, which is basically the account ID. If you don't know your account ID, it's very simple to find out. If you again go to your account page and you check at the top the URL, you will see a number there between an A and account. In my case, in the sandbox environment is 1312. That is my account ID. So by noting that down or copying it, you can now add it to your account argument. The sandbox argument set to true will go to our sandbox environment, set to false, it will go to your production environment. So be careful how you configure that. The prefetch argument tells the provider if it should prefetch its own records when reading them. This is important when you manage many domains and you might run into the risk of reaching the rate limits for API usage. So if you're managing large amounts of domains with zone records, I would recommend it set it to true. Otherwise, it's not really important for your configuration. Now that we have configured the provider, let me show you which resources you can use and how to configure them. Let's create our domain resource. For that, we're gonna create a DN simple domain resource block, give it a name. Let's just use example.com for our purposes right now. And in the name section of the resource, we're gonna add the domain name. In this case, again, Let's just use example.com. And that is everything for using a DN Simple domain resource. The next thing we're gonna add is a DN Simple email forward resource, which is basically an email forwarding rule for the domain we want to configure this email forward resource. We're gonna need the domain name to which to apply the email forwarding rule to, an alias name, which is the part before the at symbol of the source email address on the domain and the destination email address on another domain. And there you go, our email forwarding rule for our example.com domain has been set. So next up, let's create a Let's Encrypt certificate. For this, we're gonna declare a DN Simple Let's Encrypt certificate resource, call it My Certificate, and we're gonna add the domain. We're gonna use example.com again. The contact ID for the Let's Encrypt certificate, which can be found in the DN Simple admin again, depending on your plan. Now, if you don't have any team members in your plan, that would be your own contact ID. Set the auto renew either to true or false if you want the certificate to be renewed renewed automatically and give it a name. And with that, we have set up our Let's Encrypt certificate for our account. And lastly, let's add a zone record using the DN Simple zone record resource. We're gonna use the name example email. Now we're gonna add the zone name, which is our domain, example.com. Give it a name, for example, mail server, a value, which in the case of mail server, it would be the address to the domain server, the type of zone record we're adding. In the case of a mail server, it's a mail exchange record, so an MX record, the time to live, and a priority. Now that we've configured everything, we can validate our configuration in Terraform and see if we have made any errors. And as you can see, everything is fine. Uh, Terraform is telling us that the configuration is good to go. Now that we know that our configuration is okay, that it seems valid, we can run a Terraform plan just to see what would happen if we applied our configuration. Let's just do that and look at the result we can see what will happen once we apply our Terraform configuration. So this has been our Terraform DN Simple provider. Please do check out our YouTube or Twitter. And if you wanna contact us, go to dnsimple.com contact and we'll happily answer any questions that you might have.